what's up my crazy subscribers this is joking john 74 and today i would like to reply to a video that was made by keemstar who is from drama alert if you guys do not know that channel or the person i'll make sure to put the links in the description so you guys can check out his channel so anyways i want to reply to a video called current state of cod community hashtag drama alert advice for black ops 3 content creators now i did see the whole video he was talking about the old school times, like right before Modern Warfare 3, how the community used to help out each other in growing in YouTube, how people used to collab with each other, they used to do shout outs to smaller YouTubers, and it used to be a friendly environment back in the day. And what he wants to do now is that um, he wants to bring all of that back. He wants it to be a more of a friendly environment. Well, I do have my reasons why this would never happen again, or would it happen at all, because... Um, well, big YouTubers nowadays, they're pretty much just sellouts. That's why you don't see them do collabs. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they will collab with some other big YouTuber that pretty much is always positive about the Call of Duty game and they don't even talk about the negatives. And that's another thing about sellouts. They're not going to talk negative about the game because if they do, they are at risk with losing contact with Activision. Because, you know, some of these players get invited to the headquarters. They get invited to the events like right away. They, they might even get the game one week earlier. That's why you see them like releasing some gameplay right at the night, like at midnight and, you know, if they were to talk negative about that or even shout out a person who talks about who talks negative about the Call of Duty game, you know, the Call of Duty staff's gonna look into it like they're gonna be like, Why are you shutting out a guy that's talking negative about our game? You know what? You're, we couldn't ties with you. We're not gonna invite you to the events, we're not gonna lend you the game like for a week earlier. No, it's gonna be done. That's why you don't see that anymore, because the Call of Duty YouTubers are being sellouts. They're being sellouts. So uh, that's that's one of the main reasons why this will never happen again. Because even if you make that Call of Duty YouTuber famous, you know, he started off with a thousand. You make shout outs to this guy. He started getting popular. He's starting to get like 20,000 subs. And then next week or two weeks after that, he starts getting like 100,000 subs. What do you think is going to happen? He's going to sell out. Because, you know, Call of Duty is declining. And uh, the only way, you know, Call of Duty is going to be able to, take, to stay out there is by, you know, choosing one of these big YouTubers to sell out and stay like that and make him talk positive about the game every single year. I mean, we all saw what happened with Call of Duty Ghost. Big YouTubers were calling this game that game of the fucking year. They were like praising the game. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Call of Duty Ghost was shit. So um, that's, you know, that's another reason why... You know, the Call of Duty community is shooting themselves in the foot. The COD YouTubers are being sellouts. The developers are not listening to us. They obviously, if the Call of Duty goes, then, you know, and Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is a, is a valuable, it's a, it's a valid reason why the devs never listen to us. Because all the weapons got fucking nerfed and only the snipers are usable in that game. Shit, I can't even quickscope. And I'm just a rusher. I'm a rusher 24-7 and I can quick scope. I was like, what the fuck? I never do this before. So that was kind of weird. So, um, yeah, the devs are not listening to us. The big YouTubers are sellouts. The, um, another thing was that uh, eSports and MLG are kind of responsible to what happened in the last two years. And also, you know, I forgot to mention about this. Keemstar did talk about the last two Call of Duties. He talked about how Call of Duty Ghost was shit and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare wasn't that good either. Um... One of the main reasons this happened is because of MLG players. They stated that they wanted a game that was pretty much tournament based. And that's what we got Call of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Ghost was based off the ideas of esports and MLG players. That's why we got that game. You still want to praise them? You still want to say that they're the best out there? Of course they're the best. But you think they have the right ideas for the fucking game? Look at Call of Duty Ghost. That's what happened. So, um, you see, that's why, you know, this old COD community is not going to happen again because people are fucking stupid. They don't know that we imploded. The Call of Duty community imploded. Sellouts, MLG players giving out, you know, you know ways to make the games better. But at the end, it ended up fucking as a sucky ass game. Call of Duty Ghost was based off MLG ideas. Why didn't they just make a game mode? I don't know, called League Play, maybe? And keep it like that and keep, you know, MLG out of our public system? <laughs> I don't know, man. So, um, yeah, if you're wondering why the Call of Duty community is currently almost dead, 
is because we are currently shooting ourselves in the foot. We are imploding. That's why. How, that's how it, you know pretty much describe it. We are pretty much self-destructing because us idiots can't even keep our mouths shut, and uh, MLG players can't even keep their mouths shut. Developers don't even listen to us, and big YouTubers are selling out. There you go, Keemstar. You still want your community back? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. So hopefully you listen to this and um, understand. Because, um, I don't know, man. I, I don't see it coming in bed anytime soon. So, uh, that is it. If you agree with me or disagree with me, you know, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I don't mind. I don't mind the dislikes. I don't mind the likes. Just, I want my word to get out there. And reminding Keemstar the truth, the, the obvious, that this will never happen. Unless he does it himself. And a little bit of help from FaZe, because I already heard that uh, he FaZe wanted to help too. So, uh, but that is it, you know. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more of my content.